Lord, saints. Thank the Lord for his goodness, his mercy, and his love and kindness. The Lord has blessed us to uh, live to see another year, to be able to worship him one more time and remember the sacrifice that he did for us. One of the things I remember is, um, it's, it's a song that I like, uh, that come to mind. Um, it says, um, they crucified my savior. They hung, they hung him high and they stretched him wide. Amen. And he did it just for me. And that's love. So today we hope that you will enjoy our program that we have today. We're going to start out with a congregational song. And then we're going to have uh, the adults, uh, the youth, and the young adults too. And we're also going to have one of young adults, uh, youth, that's going to be singing a song for us. Amen. So we're going to truly be blessed. Uh, uh, just to be able to worship the Lord and so glad to have you with us and I pray that you enjoy. God bless you. Living he loved me Dying he saved me to show us how to live, how to put others first, and how to love, and how to give. Then he set about his work that God sent him to do. He took our punishment on himself. He made us clean and new. He could have saved himself, calling angels from above, but he chose to pay our price for sin, and he paid it out of love. Our Lord died on Good Friday, but the cross did not destroy. His resurrection on Easter morn that fills our, house, our hearts with joy. Now we know our earthly death, like his, is just a rest. But he'll be forever with him in heaven where life is best. So we live our lives for Jesus Think of him and all that we do. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Lord. Help us love like you.
happy Easter. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, he lives. Serve him to receive salvation, eternal life he gives. So today I will be reading Matthew chapter 27, verses 31, 35, and 37. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And they crucified him and parted his garments, cast him lot, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, they parted my garments among them. And upon my vesture did they cast lots and set over his head his accusation written, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his remnant white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before to see Galilee. There shall ye see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples word. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm going to sing Rise Again. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Dry the nails in my hands. Laugh at me where you stand. And go ahead and say it is isn't me. The day will come when you see.
place. And Jesus was led away. The soldiers beat him and mocked him too, yet he continued to obey. A crown of thorns laid on his head as the sentence was carried out. His hands and feet were pierced with nails, but he did not scream or shout. Father, forgive them for this crime. They know not know what they do. He said this despite his torment because he was thinking of me and you. It is finished. He sighed in his anguish and pain as his body gave up to death. The curtain tore and the darkness fell after he took his last breath. The best of this story is the very last part. It's why on Easter we're filled with pleasure. Death could not our savor hold. His power is beyond all measure. He rose from the grave and was seen all around. Ever since he inspired devotion and will be with him for eternity. When we get our heavenly promotion, that's why Easter is a major event. He suffered and died in our place. He rose and forgave us and loves us still, our Savior of matchless grace. Amen. We do thank the Lord uh, once again for you being with us. And we want, to, on behalf of our pastor, to just thank you, you know, uh, for participating in our service. We want to thank uh, the teachers uh, for their labor of love, and also the parents, the parents for their uh, uh, support, and the young people, their love and their commitment to the Lord. Amen. So we do appreciate that. I also want to remember um, our brother Jermaine, our tea, for, our tea person, for taking care of everything for us. Even though uh, we're not uh, in person with many of you, we thank the Lord for the technology that is given us. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. So we pray that you enjoy Jesus the rest of the day. God bless you. And we're going to close out with this one last song here with the congregation. God bless you and have a great day in Jesus.